This is the second tutorial of the Supply Chain Management Lead 2020. In this tutorial, I'll explain how can you download the agent skeleton and start your development on it. This is the website of ANAC 2020. You can find it through uh, Google search and I'll put the link in the description. If you go down here, you'll find the Supply Chain Management League. Everything you need is in the live competition website. Let's open that. Okay, that's the live competition website. Uh, on the links on the right, you can find the agent template. Let's copy the address of this link and download it. So, okay, now unzip the downloaded file and go into the folder that was created. So, what did we just download? That's the skeleton for the agent. You will find uh, a readme file describing all the details and two folders, one for your code and another one for your report. In the code, there are two independent implementations uh, using two different methods to implement your agent. Uh, now, what we want to do is to test that this download is okay and that we can start development. So we need to create uh, our development environment. Uh, Python 3. Dash M, v, M. Now I'm creating a virtual environment. Then I need to activate it. So source. If you are in Windows, that would be slightly different. Of course, you can use any virtual environment uh, that you like, or you, you can just develop without virtual environment, even though I don't recommend that. Uh, you need to check that your Python version is uh, pointing to the, to the correct place. It's porting to SCML 2020, so that's the correct place. Um, now you need to install only a single package. pip install SCML. Once this finishes, you are ready for development. Okay, it's almost finished now. It may take a little bit longer in your case if you don't have gadget versions of different libraries. Okay. Once this installation finishes, you are ready for development. And we will check that by just running uh, our agent and finding that we can run a complete tournament. So now we finish the installation. Uh, this will install two command line uh, utilities for you. A CML, which you can use uh, for running a single wallet simulation or running a complete tournament. It supports both 2019 version of the league and 2020 and Nigmas, which is just the baseline platform which has much more support for more general uh, uh, automated negotiation development. Okay, now we want to test that our uh, skeleton is working. So the first thing we can just do Python and my agent, that's the folder, and then let's test for example my agent.py. Will this work? We if you just run it, uh, it will run a tournament between this basic agent and two built-in strategies, uh, the decentralizing agent and the buy cheap sell expensive agent. Uh, this tournament may take some time because it runs uh, st 20 step simulations, uh, but once it finishes, it will give you uh, feedback about the performance of the agent. Of course, uh, you didn't develop anything yet, so you don't expect a uh, very good results here.
while this is running, let's go and check what's happening. What's, what are these agents doing? So let's open a new tab. Go to that folder we just extracted everything into. Let's see, ML. Okay, that's our folder. And let's open it with our uh, text editor. Um, let's just use Vim here. Uh, and let's open my agent, my agent 2. That's one example. Um, I'll increase the font size slightly. Let's see better. So the file starts with a comment. Here, the only thing you need to change is the authors. So you add your team. Uh, but then we can check what is the general uh, content of this fi file. This is the comment we just checked, and these are just um, imports that we need. Then there is a definition of a single class called my components based agent, and a function called run, which will just run the tournament. That's the function that we are running on the other tab. And if name is main, we just run uh, the run function. What the run function is doing is also very simple. Uh, just receive some parameters and it passes them to either an ACT 2020 is standard or an ACT 2020 collusion based on the track I want to simulate. Okay, and we can just close that and let's check what is our agent. So let's open it to the end. That's the whole content of the agent. Uh, this agent is using uh, a new feature that we have this year, we didn't have last year, which is built-in components. So you can construct your agent by combining components. There are three main types of components. A production strategy, which decides what to produce and when. A negotiation manager, which decides which negotiations to engage in. And a trading strategy, which decides what to buy and what to sell. So by just combining one of each of these, you have a complete agent. Uh, and that's what this agent is doing. Okay. Let's just see the other agent. So mm, let's edit. Let's just quit here. Uh, sorry, I changed something. Don't want to change anything. And let's just edit um, the other agent type, which is the other way you can develop your agent. That is similar to last year's competition. In this case, uh, that's the same comment again, and we can just go down. So let's pass for a bit faster. Okay, okay. So that's for the agent. It's called here my agent. If you if you notice, it doesn't use any components. It just inherits directly from SML twenty twenty agent, and it overrides all the callbacks that it needs to override. So these are almost all the callbacks that you can override. Uh, the default here is to do nothing but you can decide to change the default of any of these functions based on your strategy. Okay, let's just exit that, go back to our run, and our run is complete. As you can see, it ran a competition, it ran 12 different wallet simulations, um, and these are the results. The decentralizing agent is achieving 21% profit. Our agent is losing, actually, around 10%. But the white chips are expensive, losing even more, 35%. Of course, this is a very small simulation, so it doesn't give you an idea about the actual performance of these agents. But now we know that uh, everything is ready for uh, development. Thank you.